childhood i had a desire to become a very good fluent english speaker i liked english subject and i always used to do well in it therefore there was never any pressure from my home regarding this subject and uh, for as a result i always enjoy to learn english and that is my plus point i never feel any pressure to learn this language and i enjoy this process but you know there is a huge difference uh, speaking english fluently and willing to speak english fluently but it became more difficult when you are speaking english in front of someone look the fluency which i want in my speaking english is not possible just by wishing i have to work very hard to bring fluency in my speaking i felt english speaking is a craze among the people and i understood the importance of english because whenever you go for work you must know how to speak english it increases the value or positions in the society so i understood that english would open up many opportunities for me and i start focusing much more on uh, english learning although i studied in english medium school but my friends my family my neighbors always used to uh, talk in uh, regional language and uh, so there was no such an environment where i could practice english i didn't understand how to use the theoretical things in practical theoretical things means rules and the formulas which i learned um, but i don't understand that how this uh, theoretical things uh, used in practical in speaking how to use it due to this i faced problem i didn't understand uh, was i speaking right or wrong english i also took more time to give reply to some questions because i always used to uh, translate in my head and you know i have talked these things in my many video that if you don't think in english then you never become a fluent speaker if you are think in your mother tongue and you are translating from your mother tongue then definitely you become a slow speaker and you take more time to reply Namaskar I am Rita welcome to my channel if you are new don't forget to like share and subscribe button today in this video I am going to share my journey with you so that how I get overcome from this problem when someone asked me questions I was not instantly able to reply the answer I took some time to think and then I used to reply it I remember someone told me that despite of studying in English medium school you are not able to speak English after hearing this I felt very embarrassed and and I thought I would definitely work hard in order to become a fluent English speaker I didn't take any English speaking course I learn English by myself. I work hard to learn English. Whatever English I can speak today, I was learn myself and I was my own mentor. You know, every person is unique and different from each other. Their learning technique is also different from each other. Someone have a problem in grammar and someone have a problem in vocabulary. You should understand which layer of English you have much more problem. So you should work on that because no one else can understand it better than you. So you have to realize your own strength as well as your weakness. According to that, you have to work. When I realized my strength and the, my uh, weakness, I made my you know, proper study plan, and I used to work hard according to my plan. I start practicing English according to my study plan. I take out some time from my busy schedule. If you are willing to speak english fluently and yet you haven't done it then there is a no time and there is a no age barrier please do it right now start your journey from now as we know that we are very much influenced by our mother tongue and uh, to learn english to speak english fluently then we have to surround ourselves by english so i always used to surround myself english 
I used to listen lots of English content, English song. In this way, I can increase my understanding ability by adapting listening habit. I always immerse myself in English as much as possible. This is the best way to live with English. Initially, I started to learn English by watching cartoon because my sister always used to watch cartoon. Uh, I realized that in cartoon, the sentence is very simple and easy. Our children can also understand very easily. Those who are beginner and want to speak English, then I highly recommend you to watch cartoon because cartoon is very easy to understand. Those who don't want to watch English cartoon, then you go for web series, Netflix or podcast. You should observe and talk. Whatever the things around you, you should talk about it. Observe and talk. This is the best way to practice your English speaking. Suppose, Bahar barish ho rahi hai. It is raining outside. Mujhe bhook lagi hai. I am hungry. Mujhe mera pain nahi mil raha hai. I can't find out my pain. So, office jane mein deri ho gai. I was late for office. We always keep saying this sentence in our daily life. So instead of saying it in your mother tongue, you should talk in English. Observe it and talk it. I often used to write journal, the incident which happened in my college or I made a good friend. Uh, how do I feel after watching a movie? All these things I used to write down on my notebook. In our school church, always a native speaker used to come to visit our church. During the prayer time, we always get an opportunity to interact with them. And uh, I always thought that if I uh, talk with them in English, what they think if I made mistakes. Then I realized that what happened if I make mistake? I was learning. So it doesn't matter. I have to overcome from the fear of speaking. So I slowly, slowly started to uh, interact with them and try to speak with them, try to understand what they are speaking. In this way, I overcome from the problem of speaking. If you are a person who want to speak English, but yet you don't start it, then please start your learning journey right now. This is the best time. I hope if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe button. Thank you. Vandamatram.